Well, Joseph, finally today we've had uh, numbers from Co-op Bank uh, long awaited and much delayed and they come at the end of another awful, awful week for the Co-op. What's the bank told us today? Well, I mean, it's explained how it managed to lose £1.3 billion last year uh, for a succession of credit impairments and various um, write-downs on, on anything from, you know, mis-selling to, you know, IT disasters. However, uh, when it comes to co-op bank, you know, you can throw a chairman, you know, who's, you know, been in a drug scandal at it. You can throw uh, Britannia Building Society, which is the source of many of those credit impairments after they try to murder of it. Um, and a near, a almost, you know, implosion last year over its capital. And yet, uh, customer deposits uh, barely fed at all last year. And at about £27 billion, pounds, you know, that's quite valuable for a high street bank. And uh, it's only part owned by the co-op group now. Uh, the other 70% is hedge funds, but it will be listing uh, on the public market at some point later this year or next year. And it, you know, it looks like a viable high street bank, assuming the worst is over. And assuming the group, uh, I think, has to leave the bank now, pretty much. So really sticky deposit base then. Obviously the, the co-op brand is still worth something to, to the mm. bank. But tell me about the, the relationship between the, the group and the bank. Could the bank be damaged by all the governance problems that the group is having at, the, at its own board level? Uh, well, actually, you first look at just how the, the sheer separation of assets. Uh, now that the, the, the ownership of the bank has changed uh, in terms of you know, taking it away from the group at the moment. So firstly, IT. You know, a, a, a big reason for the write down was that the, the bank had to take uh, the assets of a sort of disastrous IT transformation project onto its own balance sheet. And that's partly why the separation is very complicated. But also, you know, it hasn't finished um, its last capital raising. You know, it needs about um, 300 million pounds from the group. Uh, only 70 million of that so far has been sent over, and that will take uh, the rest of the year to complete. And then now there's a new capital raising, and if the co-op group wants to um, have its share of that four hundred million pound amount, um, it has to put in one hundred and twenty million pounds. And the big question is, uh, can the group do that? Does the group want to do that? Uh, I think probably if the group didn't want to, there would be an, other investors who would be quite happy to take that control of the bank. But it's really what does the group want to do here? So an awful lot of nervous times ahead, perhaps, for, for Co-op Bank. But beneath that, the kernel of it, a lot of loyal depositors, loyal customers, so perhaps a, a viable business. Joseph, thank you very much.